Ukrainian soldiers boast of high morale as troops cheered onto frontline in Kherson. Ukrainian forces have displayed the high morale among soldiers in a new video of troops being cheered as they move in on Russian-occupied Kherson. Video footage from Ukraine has captured evidence of high morale among fighting troops, with soldiers seen cheering and smiling as they move in on Russian-occupied Kherson. Comparatively, Russian forces are said to be suffering from extremely low morale amid failures of military leadership, insufficient supplies of equipment, and issues surrounding soldier pay. The news comes as President Zelensky's forces continue their counter-offensive operation in the south of Ukraine, targeted at reclaiming territories under the Kremlin's control. The video published by news organization Visegrad 24 has offered an uplifting insight into the determination of Ukrainian troops. As a trail of military personnel carriers travels along a road understood to be near the Kherson region, a Ukrainian soldier is seen on the side of the track eagerly waving troops onwards. At points in the clip, the soldier smiles, jumping up and down as floods of troops drive past waving and cheering in response, soldiers sat atop the vehicles grinning as they steam ahead, prepared to engage with Russian invaders. In a caption accompanying the clip, Visegrad 24 reported a Ukrainian soldier is very happy to be advancing against the Russians in the Kherson region. An update from the Ministry of Defense following the posting of the video confirmed heavy fighting had taken place in the Kherson area. In a speech ahead of the anticipated counter-offensive, President Zelensky declared our defenders will not stop until they liberate everything that belongs to Ukraine. Come on. One, three. Intelligence information from the front line has exposed a contrast between the opposing forces, as Russian troops are reportedly experiencing a severe drought of morale. The Ministry of Defense said, Russian forces continue to suffer from morale and discipline issues in Ukraine. The intelligence report continued the Russian military have consistently failed to provide basic entitlements to troops deployed in Ukraine, including appropriate uniform, arms, and rations, as well as pay. This has almost certainly contributed to the continued fragile morale of much of the force. Heavy fighting has also been reported in the north of Ukraine, near Kharkiv, and in the eastern Donbass region. This development has forced Russian military commanders to address the dilemma of whether to divert additional troops to Kherson or to the conflict in the Donbass region, where the Kremlin hopes to expand its control. The test of coordination has strained Russian military leadership which is already reported to be under-provisioned, and operating with forces that lack adequate training. Occupying authorities in Kherson have passed the decision to postpone a so-called referendum on joining Russia, amid what the Kremlin administration described as the unfolding security situation. Announcing the apparent counterattack, Serhii Leshenko, an advisor to Ukraine's presidential office, said there would be great news from President Zelensky on counter-offensive operation in Kharkiv region. He later deleted the social media post, reported the Telegraph, the attack near Kharkiv, in the east of the country, comes a week after Ukraine launched a much-hyped assault against a vulnerable Russian pocket on the west bank of the Dnipro River in Kherson on the southern front. The purpose of the assault was not immediately clear, 
that it may be intended as a diversion to keep the Russians from reinforcing Kherson. On Monday Ukrainian forces mounted a surprise attack across the Siversky Donets River in the Donetsk region at a village called Ozernoye. Another blast in Berdyansk was reported a few hours later that there were no immediate reports of casualties. Russia-occupied towns in southern Ukraine have seen a flurry of attacks on figures in the occupation administration in what the Ukrainian government has hailed as the work of partisans behind enemy lines.